What's going on guys? So someone uh, sent me another Crate Club box. Um, I did one, I want to say maybe, maybe two months ago. Um, but uh, I didn't buy this. It was just uh, sent to check out. So we're gonna break into this, but before I do, I just want to say that uh, these crate clubs are, it's very similar to like a battle box. In fact, the last time I got one, there was some uh, crossover with some uh, different gear and stuff. Um, but this really tends to seem like it leans towards the tactical side of things. Uh, whereas battle box, generally speaking, is more like outdoorsman, you know, type stuff. Uh, whereas this is like, you know, straight up operator, <laughs> more, more like the gun things, I guess you would say more of that, you know, tactical, uh, side of gear. But anyway, today we have a, uh, Cobra Tech. I showed this a couple times. I am going to do a video on this eventually, be using the heck out of it, but only around the house because Pennsylvania says that I can't be trusted with a automatic knife. Can you believe that? They don't care if I have guns though. That's all good. So, <laughs> not that it matters. My, my mini rant, things just don't make sense sometimes. All right, so now they have many levels, uh, just like BattleBox does. Oh, this actually came with paperwork. All right, last time there was nothing in the box as far as paperwork, so maybe this will explain some things. Oh, don't want to uh, give any sneak peeks yet, but I might reference this. All right, so what do we have here? Ooh, I recognize these right off the bat. These are those traps, those little booby traps. Whoop. Hold on, seems to be stuck together. That was just stuck together. What the heck? Oh, it's stuck in the spring. Okay. <laughs> well, I just smacked the heck out of my uh, tripod here. Gave it a nice little dent. Good Lord. These things were... Uh, this flat piece was jammed in between the other one. Anyway. All right. So, um, yeah, we saw these in a, uh, a battle box. Um, pretty interesting. Uh, basically, it is just like a perimeter alarm okay so we have you know this uh, piece of metal that's on a spring and you can set this all right and you could tie you know a string to it or something you put a 22 blank in here now these work very very well uh, when i first got this again through a battle box i ended up going to i think it was lowe's they sell a bunch of different 22 blanks and they're all used for like nail guns if you're not familiar with that but i figured i would get the most powerful one because it would be the loudest the issue I had is that the, you know, this worked fine. You know, I set up a fishing line, you know, did a little test run, walk past, as soon as you hit the wire, you know, pushes down. This comes slamming home, which pierces the edge of the rimfire cartridge and, you know, explodes, it pops, makes a very loud noise. So it does work. But the issue I had with the higher powered ones is that it expanded too much and the shells got stuck inside this little, uh, you know, housing here. So, that's a huge pain in the butt. In fact, one of them, I, it's still stuck in there. I have to like drill it out and, you know, screw something in there and try to pull it out. So, word of warning, uh, these things are awesome and it's very, very cool. Uh, novelty, I mean, obviously if you go camping and stuff and you want a legit perimeter alarm, this would work as such. It'll definitely let you know what's going on. Uh, but for me, I was just kind of playing around with it. Um, but yeah, don't get the most powerful ones. It's totally unnecessary. You can hear the other ones just the same. Okay. It's just expanded like way too much, but yeah, pretty interesting item. So speaking of battle box crossovers, actually we just got one of these in the battle box. So this is the blaze defense, which is awesome, but you know, just got one. So now we have another one. And uh, I noticed this, we got this in a previous battle box, Pitbull Tactical Universal Mag Carrier, okay? Very, very cool, but you know, I, I have one. Actually uh, use this for um, Christina's spare mag, um, and it's been working out really nice for her. She has a, a Glock 42. Uh, but I did try this with a couple different uh, pistol mags, and it does, it, it just expands and you know, pretty much fits whatever you want to put in there. So pretty cool, but again, we got a battle box crossover. What else in here is from a battle box? Oh, this, this is from a battle box. Um, the uh, hex drive tool. 
again, very cool. Reference an old Battle Box video for this. So now I got doubles on that as well. Um, what else do we have here? I don't know what these are. Oh, mag pouches. Mag pouch. Uh, mag pouch. Oh, that's cool. Definitely <laughs> set up with the mag pouches. There we go. Hot snot. Just showed this in a battle box. All very cool things, but kind of doubling up on it. In fact, actually, one of these mag pouches did come. It was just uh, like a um, desert tan. So here's the deal. You're going to see a lot of crossovers here. So if you subscribe to one box, I don't see a huge necessity to subscribe to the other box. Now, clearly, you're not going to get the exact same things in both boxes. We have some crossovers here, but there's... I'm seeing three things in this box that you will probably never see in a battle box. And there's things in battle boxes that you'll never see in a crate box. So it's just one of those things. I mean, if you have a, a great need, you know, for tons of gear and stuff, then sure, why not get both boxes? But generally speaking, I would just recommend one or the other. If you lean more towards being a gun guy or a gun girl, uh, and you like the tactical thing, Crate Club is where it's at, okay? Um, but if you uh, are more like outdoorsy, you know, and you like the camp thing and the hiking thing and all that kind of stuff and nature and all that, uh, I would definitely lean more towards a battle box. So that's just my recommendation because I have seen these crossovers now. And, you know, generally speaking, even though stuff like this is great, you can have 10, 10 of these tubes and it's very... Uh, beneficial and yeah you could put these multiple places you know and of course you can have tons of different um you know uh fire extinguishers you put them all over the place and yeah you can have a ton of different extra mag holders you know it's not like you're not going to have anything to to use it for but most people probably don't want to see double gear that's all so now that's out of the way let's check out one of these mag holders i want to say this is the same as what we just got a battle box but again black instead of um, that coyote tan or brown, coyote brown or desert tan. I kind of combine those, but yeah, just mag pouch. Very cool. Actually, it's funny because the brown one Christina was looking at and she took it. She took it right away because uh, her cell phone fits in it perfectly. She has uh, an iPhone 11, I guess, 11 Pro, Pro Max, Pro. I, I forget. I'm not really great with technology. I get her hand me down phones, <laughs> but anyway, yeah, that it fit her phone perfectly. She's like, Oh, this is awesome. You know, you're gonna be using this. And I said, well, I don't know, you know, maybe. <laughs> She's like, you're not using that. So, okay. I happen to have a ton of bag pouches already. Uh, you can never have too many, but yeah, I don't. My stuff is mostly like this, black. So I definitely prefer this. So I don't mind her taking it at this point now that I know that I have three more. All right, but extremely useful stuff. Anyway, the point of me bringing that up is that obviously you don't have to use it just for uh, gun stuff. So if you happen to not be a gun person, there's a plenty of uses for those uh, mag pouches. So, speaking of gun stuff, um, here's a, a loader. There's a loader for AR-15, uh, 223. We've seen these before. Obviously, if you're a gun person, you're very familiar with this already. If you're new to the whole scene, there's obviously a ton of new uh, firearm owners uh, this year, more than ever in history. Um, you might want to learn about stuff like this, but this just makes it a little bit easier to load. Now, it's funny because someone had sent me, uh, my friend Corey sent me a, uh, a picture of one of those like speed loaders for AK mags and ARs and stuff, where it's like the wood board with the cutout. And I'm like, yeah, those are awesome. You know, I've seen those a million times, but I can't justify getting one of those things because I can't afford to shoot enough where I need to massively quickly load magazines like that. I wish that was a problem. Like I have so much ammo and I just can't load these fast enough. I don't have that problem. I have the opposite problem, like most people. Um, so actually I'm gonna save this knife for last. Here we have a red dot. This is a Romeo MSR red dot, all right, uh, from Sig Sauer. Now, I've been very interested in the Sig Sauer Romeo 5s, um, and I was looking for one, and then someone actually hooked me up with a red dot, so I just kind of stopped looking. This will be really interesting to see. I don't think I've heard of the MSR. I don't know if this is something that's newer or something that's older. It's two uh, MOA dot, 12 illumination settings. Looks like uh, it's aluminum, of course, the housing, waterproof. Infinite guarantee, electronic. What's this thing? Well, let's, let's cut this wrapper off here so I can read. It'll be a little more helpful, isn't it? All right, so. Infinite guarantee and electronic and trinium limited warranty. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was just talking about the uh, warranty. But yeah, that looks uh, pretty darn cool. It's a high base here too, I guess, for co-witnessing. 
So yeah, you know, interesting. I'll have to try that out in the future. All right, and finally, we have a CRKT. All right, which one? Well, let's just open it. I'm not gonna peek at the, oh, we have a Provoke. Now, I have a Provoke already, but, ooh, this one actually is a different color. The Earth, Earth uh, coloration. Very, very cool. So, of course, you haven't seen the Provoke. It is uh, CRKT's very, very popular, um, you know, take on a Karambit. So here's a close-up of this. Yeah, this one's really cool in the Earth coloration. Uh, I like it a lot. It's very uh, modern tactical. You know, all the browns and whatnot. So if you haven't seen this before, essentially, I mean, you're holding a reverse grip. You don't have to do that. You can hold it like this. But you're pushing this top part here, this top piece, and you can see there's two arms. And as you push that, all right, you can see how that is moving along with those arms. They're both pivoting. And then you get into that open lock position. Now, of course, you can open or hold this in the um, forward position like this just to use it for regular cutting tasks, EDC. But really, it's meant for that reverse grip for tactical defense, you know, purposes. Very, very cool, though. All right, the lock is down in here, almost like a liner lock. You're pushing this piece back. Okay, we're pushing that back. You're allowed, or allows you to now close it. And it kind of holds in that, that downward position. So yeah, that is a really cool knife. I absolutely love it. I mean, I don't think I did a full review on it because I still have mine and I don't carry it and use it that much. I mean, it's it's there's a gimmick there, a novelty to it. It is a very functional knife. It just wouldn't be a go-to like EDC, but I do have uh, to eventually make like a full video on it. But I mean, I kind of explain how it works and stuff and you know, without you know carrying it and using it, there's not much else to say. All right, so I just want to reference everything, make sure I'm not missing something. Uh, hot snot. All right, very cool. We got the M250 little uh, box tool. Um, Pipple Tactical Universal Mag Carrier. The Tripwire Alarms. All right, uh, Blaze Defense. The Mag Pouches. And we have the Six Hour Romeo MSR. We have the Maglula Loader. And then we have the CRKT Provoke. So yeah. It's all here, and obviously there's little blurbs on it, which is really cool. So there it is. That's uh, Crate Club for October. So I'm curious. Let me know down in the comment section if you subscribe uh, to the monthly service, because I'm not sure 100% on Crate Club, but I know BattleBox, obviously you can buy previous boxes, because a lot of people don't like the surprise aspect of the entire thing. It's like, yeah, I like gear, but I don't want to just pay a price and not know what I'm getting. Totally get that. Uh, BattleBox does actually sell gear individually too, so if you see one specific thing you like, you can just source just that. Uh, but I'm not sure about Crate Club, okay? I don't know if you can see what the boxes, uh, you know, include, or if it's just a mystery box. You know me, I love surprises and stuff, um, but, you know, very, very cool stuff. It's just there's that crossover. So let me know down in the comment section, do you subscribe to Crate Club? Um, and do you subscribe to BattleBox? But most importantly, do you subscribe to both? I'm curious. Because, um, yeah, I mean, like I said, so far it's been double gear. I'd like to hear from people who've been doing this for a long time. I don't know exactly how long Crate Club's been around, uh, but it would be interesting to find out, you know, how often you see that, that kind of crossover stuff. But you'll definitely get things, like I said, that Romeo uh, MSR, you're never going to see that in a BattleBox, you know, or the uh, uploader, probably, things like that. So, yeah, that's it. Very cool stuff. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you have a wonderful day, and I'll see you tomorrow with a brand new video. Take care.